I've got a bunch of shoes. Not as many as I've had in years past. I think I've got it down to about eight pairs of shoes, which is perfect amount for me. Keep it less than 10 because after that, it just starts getting unruly. These are my Zoom Blazers, Van Highs, Neutral Grays, Pine Greens, another blazer. I don't know why I have so many of these. SB Dunk Highs QS. Anyway, I wanna talk about my 300 subscriber goal this year, I'm going to hit it because I have a plan that is foolproof, absolutely foolproof. Next year, it'll probably be 500. And the year after that, maybe six. But my ultimate goal is 100,000 subscribers. I know only the elite get there and I'm trying to be in that elite. At this rate, it'll probably be 2082. I think the year 2082, I'll be 104, which is great. I'm planning on living until I'm 120. So I have 16 solid years of enjoying that 100,000 subscriber mark. Nonetheless, I digress and I want to tell you guys my top three ideas for the next videos. The next video idea I have is one about me kind of being like Mr. Beast, but it's Mr. Broke because I you know, he he gives away hundreds of thousands, millions of dollars in his videos. I can probably do 0.1%, 1%, depending on the amount of that. So I think a Mr. Broke video would be pretty cool. After that, the second video idea, I wanna purchase another Amazon box and see what's inside. I love those mystery boxes. The last one that I got, I purchased for like 60 or 70 bucks, I don't remember and it came with that watch. So I'm not gonna open it up because I wanna retain its value and it's, it's mint condition. Terrible design and it just didn't work. This third one, I know it's possible to do, but I have no idea where to start. But I wanna shoot a memento type vlog. If you've seen the movie Memento with Guy Pearce, the whole story is told backwards. It's one of the best films in the suspense genre. I got another update for you guys. I wanna talk a little bit about my dog, Bella. We had to uh, had to rehome her just because we weren't able to give her the time and uh, really the attention she needed. Didn't have as much space in the house with with the baby. And, and this is how amazing this is. It's a retired couple. They live about an hour away, and they are able to give her all the time and attention that she needs. They've got a huge backyard and the icing on the cake. They hand cook all of her meals. It doesn't get any more spoiled than that. And I can't think of a better situation for Bella to be in than where she's at right now. So I'm very happy for it. So I'll tell you a little bit about another dog I had. He was a toy fox terrier and his name was Bogey. Couldn't have been more than 25 pounds. He was always getting in fights all around the neighborhood. One day he got into a fight with a dog next door. This dog's name was Winchester. He's basically full wolf. One day Winchester brought home an entire deer, okay? That's how hardcore this dog is. Bogey, of course, went over there, challenged him to a fight and lost. He had a very bad injury, so basically, blind in one eye for the rest of his life. He kept getting into fights, probably got hit by three different cars. He survived it all. One day, I wanna be like Bogey. One day. I'm beginning to run out of sunlight. One more story for you guys. When I was a kid, I really truly wanted to be a chemist. I wanted to mix chemicals together, make things explode, and do amazing magical experiments. I had the opportunity when I was in high school to actually be a real chemist. I got to do some work for a melanoma research cancer project. I got hired my freshman year, and I'm so glad I got that experience because I realized after three years of doing that, that chemistry was the worst. The absolute worst. I hated every se I hated it. I and this is the reason it's terrible. There were long hours of waiting for results, complicated procedures, 
Oftentimes, I was by myself and I wasn't really invested in the research itself. I thought it was cool, it looks great on a resume, but it's nothing that I would ever do again. And I'm so glad that I did that because if I did not, I would have gone to college for four years and gotten a degree in something that I really truly did not enjoy doing. So that's why I encourage you guys to just go out there and do what it is you wanna do, just try it. You don't have to know everything, all you need is to be able to give it a shot, to give it a try. That's it. That's it, guys. All right, I guess the vlog's done. All set? All right, vlog's done. Let's get out of here. Waverly, how old are you gonna be? Two. Yes. Whoa. Good job. Happy birthday, mother. Mother what? Happy birthday, mother. <laughs> <laughs>